Good evening, Progeny Vampires. I am going to demonstrate for you the new Progeny Vampire Fang Kit for DIY Fangs. Um, this kit will let you um, build your own Progeny Fangs using a full prim, full perm prim from some alt or somewhere so that it's a little harder for these uh, Progeny Fang detectors to um, get a bead on you. Anyway, let's take a look at how this works. So, first off, let's talk about what you need to make this work. You're going to have your Progeny Fang Kit, which is a folder containing a bunch of scripts and a set of instructions. So, we're going to open the instructions and take a quick look. Um, the first step is to create a full perm prim on the ground or have one created for you and just resin out. Then you're going to open that prim and drop in the build helper script, which is this script right here. Once that script has been added to the prim, we're going to copy that prim out at least four times. You need a minimum of four, but you can have as many as you want in there to vary the prim count of the object. Um, next you're going to select the prim and hit control or select all of the prims that you just created each of which has the helper script in it you're going to hit control l and that's going to merge all of those objects into a single object uh, and select the root prim for you you're going to then open that up if it's not already open and drop in the remaining scripts making sure that you drop in the build kit script last so that's the last one you want to add in once all the scripts are in you're going to touch the object and it will automatically build the fangs put everything where it needs to go and get it ready and then it will start sending out a little smoke signal to help you find it on the ground when you attach it, the smoke signals will stop. So the smoke signal is just a way to identify where the fangs are when they're rezzed out in the world because they're very small and kind of hard to see. Um, the new version of it here can be attached to the head, the mouth, or the nose. I think you can even attach it to two of the ear points if you really need to. But I think the head makes the most sense because that's where most people attach hair or the nose because people will attach glasses and things like that. Anyway, altogether it makes it a lot harder for these scripts to find the progeny fangs um, thereby. So I'll show you how it works. We're going to we'll zoom out a little bit. So here we have a single prim that I've created. Because I created it, it is full prim for me, full perm for me. That's all we care about. So we're going to zoom out a little bit, and then we're going to add in the helper script. That's the first thing we need to do. Once we add it in the helper script, we're going to copy the prim. Now both copies of the prim have the helper script in it, which is good. We're going to copy it again. That's for that's the minimum that we need. We'll copy again. So this particular fang will have eight prems. You know, could have 10, could have 12, could have 100. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can go that far if you really want to. Once we have them all selected, I'm gonna hit Control L on the keyboard. Now the, all of these prems are turned into a single object with the root prem selected. I'm gonna now add in all of the other scripts from the kit, except for the build kit script. Those are added. I'm going to add the build script kit. Okay, now all our scripts are in place. So I'm gonna close this down. You will get this little pop-up asking if you can take controls. You can say yes or no, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's used by the animator when the, when the fangs are attached and you normally don't get that little pop-up when they're attached as an attachment. So we're ready to go, we just hit touch it and the fangs just created themselves and once it's done it starts emitting a little puff of smoke to make it easy to spot where they are because again they're small and hard to see come down here and select it there's our new set of fangs ready to go it is now named progeny fangs uh, 0354 the same as the production ones um, if you want to use them pick them up and attach them um, and it's ready to go so i'm going to take and that adds over detach this one 
you can still only wear one one pair of fangs at any given time and there's security involved so you can't add more than one bite script etc into the fangs if you start tampering with it i will know and it is grounds for being banned from the system so don't mess with the scripts <laughs> once you uh, once you have it but this should get you up and running so we attach it add and now my fangs up oh, i added it to the wrong place See, can't can't be. It's going to be attached to the mouth. Nope, not true. Detach. Attach to skull. Progeny fangs are fixed and ready to use. So I'm ready to go out there a biting and showing the world a mean business. Anyway, uh, I will be making these available to the general public very soon. Um, I've still got a little bit of testing to do, but I should start sending these out first to the arches and to then to some of the ranking members, um, and then to my beta trusters and then to the general public. So, um, they should be out really soon. Hope you guys like them. Have a great day or night.